Governor Phil Scott vetoed the $8.5 billion state budget Saturday, saying the legislature's spending levels were too high and the new taxes and fees would be too big of a burden on Vermonters. In a statement released by his office Saturday, Scott said he could not, quote, support a budget that relies on new and regressive taxes and fees that is far beyond our ability to sustain. In response to the governor's decision, Senate President Pro Tem Phil Baruth released a statement calling Scott's veto the, quote, most flawed and harmful of any in recent memory, saying the veto also freezes expanded emergency funding to municipalities and agencies. During a session scheduled for June, the Democratic supermajority will attempt to override the budget veto. But it's unclear if they will be able to stick together to do so, because a coalition of more than a dozen House Democrats and progressives have threatened to sustain the veto if more money isn't added for emergency housing that is set to run out this summer. Vermont House Speaker Jill Krewinski also released a statement Saturday, calling upon Governor Phil Scott to declare a state of emergency to, quote, address the end of the pandemic era general assistance motel program and support a safe transition for people in the program. She says Scott's veto of the 2024 budget has, quote, brought the issue to the forefront of public attention. And the conditions surrounding homelessness in Vermont may constitute an all-hazards event, requiring urgent action and additional resources. Lawmakers are due back in Montpelier mid-June. The new fiscal year begins July 1st. Governor Scott also vetoed H-386, a charter change that would allow 16 and 17-year-olds to vote in local elections in Brattleboro, and H-509, a charter change that would allow non-citizens to vote in Burlington local elections.